Hey guys, I'm making this video about something you can do. Um, well, it's basically to say that um, I'm not a Buddhist anymore, nor am I a Christian. Um, I got into Wicca, but what I ended up doing was just um, making Aphrodite my higher power. Um, I made an altar for her, and I, um, I put out offerings every time I say a prayer. Uh, pretty much, yeah, every time I pray, I'll, I'll grant, I'll grant a request, and I'll, I tell her that I'll give her something in response on her altar, um, and a lot of times, I, I get good results with it, um, it works pretty well, um, um, I really do believe in Aphrodite, and, uh, she's my higher power, um, if you want to do this too, just make an altar, just put, put stuff on an altar, like just put it, just like a, like a shelf or something, some sort of shelf or, um, uh, dresser just on top of it, just put a whole bunch of nice stuff, um, if you have seashells, seashells are really good, because she's a god of the ocean, um, a goddess of the ocean, um, um, and just along with this, this worship of Aphrodite, what I do is I, um, I just don't, I try and not create pain, um, that, that's just pretty much the whole moral guideline of worship, my worshiping of Aphrodite, like just don't create pain for others and don't create pain for yourself, pretty much just be a creator of pleasure, um, no pain, um, it's a really good, uh, value system to have, um, and that's really the main thing of Aphrodite is, she's a goddess of pleasure, um, so in worshiping Aphrodite, you're probably going to want to, um, not create pain and just be pretty much a hedonist, um, you know, hedonism comes from the word hedon, and hedon is the goddess in of pleasure, and that's Aphrodite. Um, so, being a hedonist as an Aphrodite worshiper can be a good idea. Um, it's nice anyway to be a hedonist. Just, just seek, seek pleasure. Just don't avoid pain. I mean, it's it's nice. Um, it's better than self mortification, in my opinion. Um, so try it if you want to. Um, so that's the video, guys. Bye.